Hello everyone, Manthrall here and welcome to the OSRS weekly update video. Now this week we see some more Dead Man Reborn changes and some quality of life changes and Jagat's... This is kind of painful when you keep doing this to us. Uh, but yes, the update of update, or well, oh, update on updates, is the climatic Dead Man finale begins September 17th at 1900 BST, which is 11 PDT slash 14 EDT. So, uh, you do have some more time to prepare yet, so do keep that in mind. Uh, the person who takes last, well, first place will be getting a nice chunk of change. I believe first place is 20k prize, so keep that in mind. Uh, do, I mean, way I see it is, worse that happens is you try it out, you have fun, or you try it and you don't like it, you just don't do it again. That's all. But do check it out. It should be, it will be live streamed as well. So uh, they will be live streaming it on Twitch. So do check that out. And the Dead Man Reborn changes are the Sigil of Menacing Mage's effect will now deal its additional damage to the Great Ohm's right hand. Players can now take on four instances of recoil damage per game cycle. Uh, from the Sigil of the Porcupine, when using the Sigil of Remote Storage and Sigil of Forager, uh, all resources will now be sent to the bank instead of the inventory when fishing uh, trout and salmon. Ores collected from the Blast Mine will now be sent to the bank unnoted instead of noted when using a Sigil that sends resources directly to the bank, that is. Uh, HP regeneration occurs correctly while player flicking with an active sigil of resilience. Uh, you will now receive fake XP drops when splashing with magic damage uh, against players on Dead Man Worlds. Uh, players can no longer enter Chambers of Zarek while under the Dead Man protection. And during the final sigil cooldowns, uh, uh, yeah, during the finale, Sigil cooldowns will be reset in between uh, the 1v1 rounds. <laughs> the Sigil rebalances are those follows. Uh, Sigil of the Porcupine generation has been reduced from 45 seconds to 36. Finality has been reduced from 90 seconds to 60 seconds. The Specialized Strikes cooldown is from 30 seconds to 15 seconds. Uh, the Pious Protection... The increased damage when praying incorrectly against attacks has been reduced from 20% to 10%. And Sigil of the Feral Fighter, the activation rate increased from 10% to 20%. So some balancing out, but probably some unwelcome balances there for some. Uh, other changes is, so uh, they mentioned that some of these were going to be coming uh, shortly. But the party leader can now reorder their party at the party board in the Theater of Blood uh, lobby. Various combat achievements will no longer interrupt your actions, most noticeably the Chambers of Zarek. Uh, they allowed for pumping at the Blast Furnace to continue giving players strength XP even if the pipes are broken. Uh, this is because players who repair the cogs prevent other players from established strength training methods. Uh, this is often due to grief of other players, so they're making a change to prevent unnecessary toxicity. Uh, this has not, oh, this has also been extended to bicycle, meaning you can still get agility XP whether the dive or drive belt and cogs are broken or not. And Corolum notes, I probably butchered that word, may now be combined with a, into a single book which is untradeable. Uh, you'll need all seven pages in your inventory for this to work. When you have them, right click and combine them together and a book will appear in your player own house bookcase. And Farmers, the Humidify spell is seeing a massive buff this week. So Grisolier's watering can may now be filled by casting the Humidify spell. When completing random events, a message will tell you what rewards have been received. Uh, the information boxes for the key, uh, combat achievement rewards have been tidied up. PC players will now have the option to display bond button on their interface, making it easier to acquire bonds for membership or to sell. 
Uh, this can be found in the settings menu. Uh, they changed any text containing shortcut or short dash cut to shortcut. Uh, so they're just removing one little thing. Uh, but that's it for all that. And now we got the PvP World Rota. Uh, it has moved to period A. So it is 539 US PvP, 548 Germany high risk, 577 US free to play, and 559 UK LMS competitive, and 390 AUS LMS competitive. competitive. And again, uh, this world has been reactivated uh, for this Rota. So do keep that in mind. And there was some information again today um, about the 117 escape and Adam uh, with the rune light and them working together to get the HD graphics out. With, you know, for the rune light, uh, they are, there is still talks of how they're going to be going about doing that. Honestly, I don't see why this is going to be such a big deal. Uh, Partially, I'm thinking that Jagged's does want to do away with Runelite altogether in time. Um, but that is my theory. Because I did notice, and I'm sure you guys might have been noticing, there has some been more and more Runelite features making their way into the main game. So I wouldn't be surprised if they keep doing that, and eventually all that will be unnecessary, and they might just completely do away with it. But that is my theory, so take it with it as you will. Uh, but with that being said, uh, they are working on it. I would expect it to be resolved here shortly, and they should be allowing them to do it here shortly. But just keep in mind, it's not the devs that are really responsible for this. This is the higher-ups, uh, the ones that are making the rules at Jackets HQ. Um, so it might not even be them. It might be their main owners, so who, who knows? Uh, but somebody up in the chain, basically, not just not the devs, uh, the ones that are working very hard and passionate about making sure players are happy. So keep that in mind. Uh, but that'll do it for this video. So thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, later, guys.